Hey guys, this is Kevin here with another review of systems and today I'm going to be reviewing Sketchy Medical. So the first thing you have to know about Sketchy, which uh, you may or may not know already from your upperclassmen friends, is that they are creating cartoons to help you memorize things that are hard to memorize. For example, this is the staff of A, okay, the golden staff, and that represents Staphylococcus aureus. This is a river of blood that has been solidified and cracked open, and that represents coagulase positive. Okay, so there's wacky things like that that'll help you remember things about a certain topic. And they cover three different topics. Um, they cover microbiology, pharmacology, and pathology. And I like to look at these three as three distinct products. I'll be rating Sketchy Medical on their content, their content stickiness, and their interface. And this is gonna be the way I'm gonna uh, rate all of the tools used for memorization, um, including Pixrise, Anki, and Picmonic, which I'll make videos on in the future. So let's begin. So their content, I think, is a five out of five. The thing is that their content is very high yield. And it's pretty comprehensive. It's not as comprehensive as Boards and Beyond or First Aid, but they do a really good job of picking out the facts about a certain topic that are very necessary for answering a question. And they do this probably better than any of the other memorization tools. Um, what I suspect is going on is that they probably have somebody on their team who has an NVMe and a UWorld account and has other like friends who are taking U the USMLE um, and they're, they're probably figuring out what are the most testable things for a given concept. And I'm about 12,000 questions deep into my studying and I can say pretty consistently, um, having done finished micro farm and path, that the topics and the facts that show up are very high yield. Um, they are either answer choices or they are details in the stem that help you get to the answer choice. All right, so the second metric I'm gonna rate the, the systems on is stickiness. And micro has a, the highest stickiness, five out of five, farm is a four out of five, and path is a three out of five. And I think a lot of people complain about sketchy path and how there's way too many symbols. I think what's going on here actually is that Microbiology is the best for a memorization tool. Path is probably the worst subject for a memorization tool. And let me explain why. For microbiology, you can know that Staph aureus is coagulase positive without really knowing what exactly that means. Like you could just memorize this association and that may actually get you a question right, um, as crazy as that sounds. Whereas for path, right, there's some things that are memorization heavy, but there's some, like most of it is very conceptual, right? Like it's important to know conceptually why left ventricular uh, failure has different symptoms than right ventricular failure, for example. And that's a sort of thing that you can derive when you get a question on it. But the things in microbiology, you can't really derive them. Um, so I think path goes pretty, the, their path section goes pretty deep into like the pathophysiology. And it's not as good in cartoon form as say like microbiology, which has a lot of little details. Farm is kind of a mix of the two. You need to know random drug names like Gemfibrozil or, or Mesoprostol, but you also need to know the physiology. All right, and then their interface is, I would say, a three out of five. It's not bad. I mean, you know, I, I like that they have this section here where you can click through and see the things. But the main reason why I gave it a three out of five is that here, this is one reason. There's like slow loading between each screen. So it actually takes up a lot of time, like over time, if you're like constantly going back and reviewing the videos. Um, the second reason is that they really need a search bar at the top. And every other like memorization resource that I, I'm gonna review, like Pixarize and Picmonic, 
Um, and Anki, uh, well, Anki is kind of in a separate category, but they, they have a, there's obviously a search bar on Anki. Um, the other resources all have a search bar. And the reason why that's so important is because when you're trying to memorize an image, it's really useful when you're doing questions or when you're reading another resource to quickly flash that image into your mind once you encounter it, right? For example, like if you get a question on Staff Aureus and you're on a QBank and you're doing your QBank review, it's really nice to just immediately be able to pull up that image. Um, but uh, Ske Sketchy's interface doesn't really allow you to do that. You have to go like, you have to click micro, then you have to go to bacteria, and then you have to go through this loading screen, which is a little slow, and then you have to click on this, and then there's another loading screen, and then you have to click on this. So it's slow and I might be, you know, it might seem nitpicky, but when you're doing that like hundreds of times, it actually, that time difference uh, counts. Overall, um, the, the main takeaway for this is that I would say Sketchy Micro is a must use resource in medical school. And you may not have heard of the concept of cartoons to memorize things, but trust me, once you get to the exam, it's really useful to have some wacky images to, to help you differentiate between two very similar things like Staph epidermidis and Staph saprophyticus. You know, there's just, there gets to a point where there's just so much to memorize that you need something to anchor you and differentiate similar things. All right, well, that's it. As always, best of luck with everything. Leave any questions you have in the comment section below and I'll talk to you guys next time.